Today, I'm going to be discussing the importance of persistence and how you can attract more success in your life with these two easy steps. All right, listen, I was inspired to do this video because today I just got monetized on this channel and only 5% of all YouTubers get monetized. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some examples of persistence and how that's helped me be successful and some of the background on the whole monetization process of YouTube. But most importantly, this video is for you and helping you be more successful in your life. So listen, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm a Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, welcome and listen. I am a huge proponent of all things personal development, self and self development, persistence, all that stuff. I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, you name it. I've read hundreds of books. And look, I wanted to do this video today because I just got monetized on this YouTube channel. And you might be thinking, Silver Bachelor, you have almost 24,000 subscribers. How could, how could you be only monetized now? Well, look, I created, I published my first set of videos in October, 2023. Fast forward 10 months and I still was not monetized on this channel. You have no idea the pain in the ass it's been to get monetized. And it has actually nothing to do with the content of this channel, which originally I thought. So, after three months of having my channel, I met the minimum requirements to get monetized. And when I say monetized, that means making ads and, and sharing in the revenue of the ads that are shown on your videos as part of the YouTube partner program. So in order to qualify for that, you need a minimum of 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. I got the subscribers. No problem. Probably within the first month or so, I got a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. The 4,000 subscribers that are 4,000 watch hours took me a little longer. So three months in, it said, oh, congratulations, you meet the minimum requirements. And by the way, I'm going to get to the two easy steps on how you can attract more success in your life with persistence. But just give me a moment here. So I met, they, they said, congratulations, you can now apply to the partner program. So I applied. And then a few days later, they went, eh you're rejected, you're violating our policies. So I'm like, okay. So then they said, well, you can apply in another week um, after you review our policies and upload a video and why you should be part of the partner program. So fine. So second attempt, upload a video, eh, rejected again. I'm like, seriously? So I said, yep, yeah, you're still in violation of your partner, pro po partner policies and you can apply again in August 28th of 2024. Are oh, you serious? So this was like March, April. And by this time, I already had three over 350 videos. Okay. And so fast forward to just a few days ago, and I reapplied and boom, I got accepted into the partner program. Why this is significant is because well, one, uh, obviously, duh, as much as I want to give back and as much as I want to do these videos and it's fun and it's awesome, obviously in the back end, there's an opportunity to make amazing money from YouTube. Okay. Only 5% of all YouTubers, only 5% are actually monetized and can make money from the ads. Only 5%. Only 1% have 20,000 or more subscribers. Now, now I'm competing in the big leagues, I have aspirations to get to 100,000 and maybe even someday a million. But I want to just share this quickly. You might be thinking, well, Silver Batcher, why did you already have, why did you publish 350 videos so far? So actually at the time of this video, by the time you see it, I'll have over 430 videos published. And you might be thinking, oh God, that's a lot of content. So here's the thing. I'm a marketer right? And I love KPIs and metrics and, and math. So every, no, the average YouTuber 
with a million subscribers. This is average across all the YouTubers with a million or more subscribers. On average, guess how many videos they've published on their channel? Guess. Okay, you're probably thinking maybe a few hundred, whatever. 3,500 videos is the average a number of videos that someone with a million subscribers has on their channel. 3,500 videos, okay, that's a lot. And by the way, almost every single YouTuber with a million plus subscribers is a millionaire. They're pulling in around $500,000 a year, okay, with a million subscribers. Maybe more, maybe a little less, but basically around 500,000 and most of that revenue is coming from partnerships. And YouTube ads, only represent maybe 25% of their total revenue. Okay. So most of their revenue comes from partnerships, product placements. Like for example, you know, I have a coffee here. This is the building I live in Lily Midtown. So, um, so, you know, they have a beer, whatever it is, partnerships are where they're making most of their money. But when you have a million subscribers, that's serious money. Very, very few YouTubers make it to a million subscribers. But in order to get there, you have to first achieve, you know, your 1,000 subscribers. And my goal is to hit the 100,000. I'm about a quarter of the way there, so I'm pretty excited. Why 100,000 is significant? Because 100,000, you're no longer considered a micro-influencer. Now you're considered an influencer with 100,000 subscribers. That's a small damn city. So that's the goal. And you get a silver plaque at a thousand subscribers a hundred thousand subscribers. So that's where I'm focused on right now. But when I reverse did all the reverse this, I'm like, wait a minute, 3,500 videos. How long is it going to take me to get to 3,500 videos? Well, I'm like, well, there's 365 days per year. I basically need to publish a video on my channel every day for 10 years, bro, more or less. Okay, worst case, worst case, I need to publish a video every single day for 10 years to hit a million subscribers. That is a lot of work. That's a lot of time. But damn, how many people earn over a $500,000 per year? You know how many people? Less than 1%. Less than 1% of men in North America make over $500,000 a year. And if I can achieve that as a YouTuber, that would be fantastic. So that's how I came up with all this. So anyways, without further ado, these two things, and I'll tell you about the persistence thing in a second, but I'm going to give you the two easy steps, okay, and using persistence to help you achieve more success. So the two easy, easy steps are one, focus on the end goal. And number two, focus on consistency. So you use that end goal to motivate you. But the second thing is you need to be consistent. And listen, you have no idea how discouraging it was when I first launched the channel in October 2023, or my first set of videos, I launched my channel with the videos, I had 30 to 50 videos, boom, right out of the gate. And then sometimes I, I posted more videos during that week with shorts. So imagine, 350 videos later, and I'm still not making money from YouTube, right? Just even right now, I'm still not making money. I just got monetized after 430 videos later. So this is what I'm talking about in terms of persistence, right? It's just one example. There's a thousand examples of persistence, right? Where I had the end goal in mind. The end goal was uh, is a hundred, not the end goal. The end goal is a million subscribers. It's far, it's 10 years out maybe. But I'm like, in order for me to get there, the micro goals are I need to post a video every single day on this channel, right? So then that led me to the second thing as well. In order for me to post every vi a video every single day, I have to be consistent. And it's consistency that will get me to that 3,500 videos if it takes me that long, okay? So I want to encourage you guys, right, in terms of persistence, that 
Focus on the end goal, no matter what it is. For maybe you're in school, and you're it's it's a it's a grind. It's a grind to get that degree. Maybe your end goal is to be a lawyer. I don't know what your end goal is, but if you focus on that end goal, then all you have to do is the, just one other thing, right? The second thing is just be consistent. You know, look, if I keep studying, I keep passing these exams. Eventually, 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 I will get there. So, for example, there's a bartender, well, was at a local restaurant near me. Um, and so I know a lot of the staff at many of these restaurants, and this particular bartender had this goal to be a flight attendant. Okay, fair. He applied. He had this goal stuck in his mind. He's like, I will be a flight attendant. I will be a flight attendant. He applied to Delta Airlines seven times, seven times, got rejected. The seventh time he got in, he, so he got accepted the seventh time. But imagine how hard that was on his ego. But he kept pursuing it, persistence, 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 persistence. And I'm not saying all the time you'll be successful because what if YouTube said, nope, we don't like your content, you're not going to be monetized. I didn't really have a backup plan. But I got in. So that's all that matters. All that matters is winning. Okay? <laughs> right? If you win, who cares how nasty that win was or how close it was, right? You won. Just like I think of 100 meters watching the Olympics and somebody wins by like 0 0.01 of a second. They're the winner and the other person's the loser, even though it was like a hair. So focus on that end goal that what you want to achieve and then focus on the consistency. Just keep at it. Keep banging away. Keep banging away. Keep banging away at it. And so that's what I wanted to do this video on today to encourage you to use persistence in your life to attract more success. And all you have to do is those two things. This is mainly right. Mainly just those two things. Focus on that goal and be consistent with it. And the last thing I will leave you with is this. I have an amazing job right now. I'm an, a marketing executive for a company and I don't sure if, I'm not sure if I shared this in any of my videos before. It took me two years to get this job. Two years, okay? Six interviews over two years. COVID happened and that delayed things, but I had six interviews three presentations I had to put together, like full on 20 page presentations to the executive team. So it took me two fucking years to get this job. But guess what? I got the job and I basically doubled my income, right? which is amazing. And the lesson there is that just keep being persistent and keep being consistent. Focusing on the end goal and be consistent with yourself and the quality of your work or the quality of your videos, whatever. So, you know, I'm not, I don't want to repeat myself, but I need to. And that is, like I said, just focus on the end goal. What is it you want to achieve and just be consistent on your way to get there. So hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos on this type of topic. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.